Hi everyone, I'm Angie Kellen for the Flex Tech Alliance. Today I'm in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona for Flex, the premier event for flexible and printable electronics. Joining me today is Drew Devitt, CTO of New Way Air Bearings. How are you, Drew? Good, thanks. We love to come to the Flex Show. It's one of our favorite shows. We get a lot of good customers here. And we have a lot of interesting technology to show to the visitors. So one of the things I'd like to demonstrate here is our air turns. So these rollers have air pressure coming out of them, so the film does not touch. So you can turn the film on both sides deal with, without contact. So I'm going to turn it on here. So you can see that this is just about frictionless on here. And if I pull this back, I can drive the film on the rollers and I can steer the film back and forth, right, left, right, left. I can stop the film, get it going in the other direction. There we go. We got a little dent in the film during transport, but you can see that we can drive the film. And this is a way of controlling the location of the film on the air turn while you're in a frictionless state. So if you're not touching the film on either side, you need to be able to control the location of the film. And this is a way to both control the tension between the webs, control the location of the web on the air turn, and even to stretch the film across the rollers. So this is very interesting non-contact technology for the flexible electronics industry. So Drew, what is this? Right, so what we have here are New Way radial air bearings. So you can see they're supporting this shaft. It would be similar to the type of shafts that the flexible electronics industry is used to using. But this allows a higher level of precision in the rotation of the roll. So both for manufacturing precision rolls and for the use of rolls, uh, it allows absolutely no friction in the bearing, so it helps to achieve better web tension control. And because there's only one rotating part instead of a rolling element bearing where you've got an inner race and a bunch of balls that aren't the right size or exactly the same size, then you wind up having asynchronous error motions, which can lead to half micron or micron air motions in the roll. But well, when you use an air bearing, you're able to get it down to 25 or 50 nanometers worth of air motion. So as the flexible electronics industry pushes for closer and closer tolerances, these air bearings could become very important. So Drew, now we're at the other part of your booth. What is this one all about? This is the pass-through vacuum chamber stage. It was actually sponsored by a FlexTech Tech Council research project. So uh, it's been successful. We were able to achieve 10 to the minus 6 tor in the process chamber. So the film goes from atmosphere to 10 to the minus 6 vacuum back to atmosphere in less than half a meter, which is really quite a trick. And it does it without touching the film. So we have got differentially pumped grooves. You can see that would connect to deep vacuum system. But the, uh, the film, you can see the film is sliding in and out. It's completely non-contact, even though this 100-pound top piece is sitting on top of the film. So you can see the top piece is floating on the film and there's no contact between this piece and this piece because there's a new way air bearing around the perimeter that both seals the differentially pumped grooves from atmosphere and provides for non-contact with this web. So in here you can do a deposition process or a flash forge like with Novacentrix types equipment. Uh, so there's lots of uh, sequestration that you could do in order to keep gases out using this technique. Um, we think it has a huge potential to reduce the requirement of really large vacuum coders and allow for people to do research in the best possible barrier films and conductive films that can be applied using vacuum techniques. This is a very economical way for both researchers and manufacturers to get those techniques into their manufacturing processes. Well, Drew, thank you so much for showing us all of your, your exhibits here, and uh, we wish you luck on all of your new tools and products. Thank and you everyone, for coming by. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> In Phoenix, for the Flex Tech Alliance, I'm Angie Kellen.